Or on the incident at Banana Island where a seven-story building caved in. I've been joined by a member of the Red Cross Society of Nigeria, Obafemi Otegwe. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 10. Please tell us the level of injury at uh, the incident. Good evening. Uh, I'm joining you live from the site of the uh, collapsed building in Banana Island. Well, at the moment, uh, we've been able to record the uh, number of casualties taken to the hospital is about five serious injuries. And the uh, excavation is ongoing at the moment, but I really don't know how far it will go because uh, the uh, excavation machine is really not capable of doing this job. But so far, so good. The Nigerian Records team is on ground. Uh, to evacuate and uh, attend to injuries uh, on the site. Mm, but does it seem there might just be any more bodies under the rubble? Well, at the moment, I cannot confirm of uh, anybody still being there as the excavation is still ongoing. But we are still here to observe uh, the situation. All right. So are there any lessons really for people you know, or what to do actually when an incident of this nature happens around them? Uh, well, sometimes uh, when emergency happens, you really don't know what to do. People will just scramble to make sure that uh, they uh, take uh, precaution of their life to be safe. So, but most importantly, we must um, put into consideration safety whenever we are uh, a construction site uh, of this magnitude. Thank you very much for talking to us. Obafemi Otegbe, a youth volunteer and a gender advisor with the Red Cross Society of Nigeria.